Well, one of Posh and Beck's children has given fans an insight into the childhood. Uh, for more, we're joined by entertainment editor Peter Ford. Good morning, Pete. Again, uh, Brooklyn Beckham uh, has given a new interview. Yeah, he's always good value on chat shows, gives a lot of stuff away. And in this appearance on Watch What Happens, he was talked about who his favourite royal is. The royals have been part of his life ever since he was a little kid because of his mum and dad, obviously. And also was asked about that now much talked about Netflix doco. Yeah, he speaks so very well, moments. very eloquent. Memories there of seeing his dad play as a kid. Yeah, nice. Um, Pete, details from Dame Maggie Smith's funeral. That was held yesterday. They've been revealed. Yeah. Yeah, so it kind of happened overnight our time at a place called Mort, Mort Lake Crematorium. Looks very lovely, actually. Not that I want to book in. Normally, actors, famous actors, get um, buried in a church called St Paul's in Covent Garden. It's known as the Actors' Church. But in this case, no. And, of course, in this case, we are like five weeks down the track since Dame Maggie's death. Now, this may be because both of her son's actors, one's quite well-known, called Toby Stevens, and he's been making a movie in New Zealand. So uh, perhaps that's why the funeral has taken so long to happen. But it was a private situation, but there will be a much more public tribute and celebration, quite possibly held at that St Paul's Church. There's Mort Lake Crematorium there. Looks very grand, doesn't it? Lovely mm. gardens and all that. I'm not doing a, an avatorial for them. But anyway, that's where she's gone and she's laid to rest now, Dame Maggie Smith. Yeah, look forward to that celebration of her life mm. at yeah. that later memorial. Yeah. A, a trailer for a new film about Marlon Brando has been released. Yeah, this looks really good. Now, of course, Marlon Brando was one of the great actors of his generation, but he also was a rather eccentric and, and reclusive person as well. So Billy Zane is playing Marlon Brando, and, of course, it's doing this movie, yet they had to recreate a lot of very classic movie scenes, including scenes from The Godfather. So what you're about to see is part of the trailer for Waltzing with Brando. It's not Marlon Brando, it's Billy Zane. And, of course, lived in Tahiti for about the last 20 years of his life. Life. Fascinating life and career. Looking forward to that movie. Gee, good job there. That yeah, looks exactly. amazing. Thank you, Pete. We'll see Thank you soon. You. Bye.